Somebody else managed to get the uh, PDF instructions up and running? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So we want to go to page 87, um, lesson 12, analog joystick module. Should um, we go even if you're just screen sharing it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would definitely still pull it up because we're gonna we're gonna run out the clock. But we've got our little we've got our little analog module here, um, and we've got uh, an explanation of each of these five pins and what they do. Basically, one pin is for voltage input uh, that goes to our five volts. One pin goes to ground. And then the three other pins, uh, one is joystick up and down motion, one Which is one joystick is left and right motion. Um, and the last one, this is one of those joysticks where you can click in. <gasps> and so the last, wait, wait. The last pin I is I don't, I don't, Oh, I felt it, okay. Sort of a traditional uh, digital circuit schematic, um, but it's a little hard to work with. So if you go down to page 89, we have a much easier diagram uh, that actually looks like the Arduino and the switch component that we're working with. Um, so when are we going to set this up? Oh, you can start doing it right now. Oh, really? Okay. What yeah. should we do once we have it? Um, so the, uh, the lesson here is uh, just to connect up the joystick and then to read out analog values on, um, on the board. But what I would like you all to do is I'd like you to set it up so that when you go to each of the four directions, a different LED on your breadboard will light up to a different uh, brightness. Are you kidding me? You, you've gone, uh, Mr. Metcalf. I'm just going to print the serial out. What is going on, Mr. Metcalf? My wife has shut down and it kicked me out of the, the group. Wait, so Mr. Mecca, I have no clue what's going on. Do I do that by connecting each? I just have it set up like this. Basically. What do I so need? I don't have any LEDs. I'm just going to have this? it print to serial. Do I also need the huge breadboard or the tiny breadboard? Wait, but my joystick on the joystick, it only says that there's VRX and VRY. It doesn't say that there's directions. Uh, VR yeah, and VRX and VRY are the directions. Yeah, they are yeah, the directions. That's two directions. Yeah, yeah so, so there's X and Y. And then there's a cut. X and Y are up and down a soft, and then I think you're going to get positive and negative depending on which direction you try. All right, so Nate's already got his. Um, oh, so one thing I want to ask is so remember we talked about analog and digital? So when I've got the joystick What's in this on? position, is it on or off? On. What about on. in this position? Is it on or off now? Oh, on. Before then on. what about here? Is this on or off? Off. On. Off. Well, the answer is it's not really on or off in any of those cases, right? It's at a different angle. And we want to know what that variable angle is going to be at different places. So that's why, uh, that's why the X and Y pins are going to connect to analog pins on the, um, on the Arduino because does anybody want to take a guess as to what's inside this joystick sensing what angle it's at? Is it potentiometer. It's potentiometer, yeah. There's two potentiometers in here. All right, let's assemble the circuit. Okay, we need a lot of wires. How do you think you can check and see if it's working? Or how do you think you can access that information? You plug uh, the power source. Uh, even more basic, so even more basic. Is it the 13 LED or the 13 LED? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this again. First, I want everybody to follow the directions as written in the PDF and get the joystick working. And when you get the joystick working following the directions in the PDF, uh, you will get, you the PDF will tell you how to get information reading out from the joystick on your computer. So that's what I want everybody to do first. Once you have that already totally functional, then we'll get fancy with some LEDs. Okay, let's put the knife down. Get all this I got my joystick working. How do you know that it's working? I don't have it's enough so USB. Chaotic. Tested it, tested the code. Oh There's co where's the code? Wait, uh, Nate, what do you got? It's, yeah, it's in lesson 12. 12. Uh, this is a potentially really right. stupid question, but which, um, is the long side of the LED the positive side, or does that go into the digital? Potentially. The long side is the positive side. Okay, cool. Thank you. 
please open the program code folder lesson 12. Okay, thank you, Micah. Wait, did I not need a breadboard? I uh, the breadboard for the LEDs. For the LEDs. There's like, cause I just cut open a bunch of wires and now they're get, going everywhere and it's really chaotic. Okay, so like maybe you want to get like a Ziploc bag or something. I know, I'm going to get one after this class. Uh, and now, oh shoot, the, the male to female wires are now mixed in with the other ones. And now I have to find them. What did I do? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry. She wants you to just follow the directions the from yellow the left first. Okay? okay? How do I know if it's working? Oh, uh, how do you know if which is working? Around. Oh, no, it's over here. How do I know if the joystick is working? Um, if you are you looking at the PDF directions? Yeah. Okay, are you doing what it says with the code? Oh, I haven't started the code. Okay. Mm, Mr. Micah, take, take a look at the PDF directions. Yes, ma'am. The code uh, came up with a failed message when I tried to open it. It wouldn't open at all. Yeah, it came up with a failed message. It. What is the failed message? Oh, I. Uh, where is it? Um, give me a sec. Okay. Sure. No, I unzipped it. It's fine now. Okay. Damn. I just there I'm was having an trouble error. finding it right now. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm about to I'm stupid. What was the name of the folder that we on oh, this is so, so um, the name of the folder is Elegoo Super Starter Kit for so R3. Um, and then you can go into English. Uh, and then inside English, there's a folder that says code. And in there, there's a folder that says um, Lesson 12 Analog Joystick Module. And if you click through there, you'll eventually get the analog joystick code. Mr. So, Mecca, Mecca. I have the code the in the right? Arduino. I have the code. How do you guys get all the code? You don't just email I need to hook it up to a the code. breadboard to actually see um, if it works and use LEDs. Wait, hang on. Uh, Bo, the code should all be in I, all that stuff that I posted and gave you the link to. Everything is in there. So you, you should yeah, download okay. it. All the problem is, it, the Wi-Fi for me is really slow, because... Um, that's not, what was your question? Oh. After I upload the sketch, oh, what the I move the joystick, should it affect anything on the Arduino oh, itself? Or do I need um, it's not going to affect anything on the Arduino itself. Um, oh, how do I know if it works? So the oh, way how it works turn. is if you go to page 91, it says to open the serial monitor, and you should be able to see the data below. Where is the serial? Where is the That's serial under tools? The serial monitor is under tools, but also if you go to the upper right-hand side of the Arduino IDE, see the little uh, uh, magnifying glass? Oh, it's working. Is it working? Well, it's supposed to show up. Um, it should just be a line of... Numbers. numbers. I'm just getting a bunch of numbers. It's like a yeah, no, I'm not getting that. I'm getting weird, like though. 519, 530. Yeah. Mr. Metcalf, I'm not getting it, but also I didn't get it, the serial thingy before with me trying to. Wait, where do we find the serial numbers? What's the lesson? And if I move. Number 12. If I move the joystick, then the numbers change. Yeah, right, because that's that's its position. Where um okay, so it is so like really when it's centered, it looks like it's like around five ten five ten. If you yeah. go up with it, when it's centered, I have five nineteen five thirty. Yeah, well, it, it just should be the same number. Oh, oh yeah, they're yeah, like Mr. close. I'm holding it sideways. That makes yeah. sense. Mr. Metcalf, that mean I didn't put it in right. No, I think you're good. Uh, Miriam, what's your question? I'm not. I don't have anything. Always perfect. You don't have anything on which? On the serial thingy. Yeah, where are the serial numbers? No, I. I, I you it, you it, control it's shift them and it shows you. Link. Okay, so so um, uh, Noah, do you want to take a look at my screen share? Oh yeah, wait. So I'm here's sure. the Arduino IDE, and if you look at my camera, I've got the joystick wired up, and I've got the Arduino plugged in. I got it. Um, so now I am going to click this magnifying glass up here. Uh, All right. Okay. 
and see how it's auto scrolling through these numbers. And now when I move the joystick, the numbers change. So now X is up at 1023, which is the maximum. If I let it go back to the middle, it goes back to around 500. I can now go down with it. Yeah. That's the other USB it says port. it's not available for me. It says uh, board which is not it must be upside down. Mr. Backhalf, I have nothing still. Okay, so Miriam, nothing is showing up on the um, oh. serial yeah. port monitor. Did yeah, you nothing. did you upload this code to the Arduino? Yeah, I did twice. Okay. Um, did it go through or did you get an error message down at the bottom? It went through. Okay. Uh, um, now I'm getting something, but it's... Oh, but Mr. Metcalf? It does not look like what you did. Okay. Which Marianne, is the correct you orientation? You screen share your screen? No, what's your question? Why is it just giving me the signs all of a sudden? Like, it says, um... Problem uploading to board. See some link for suggestions. Okay. Um, did you did you set the um, COM port? Did you go to if you go to tools and port, you have to select the correct port. Oh man, Miriam, that is interesting. Yeah. Mr. Metcalf. Oh, that's weird. What is that? That web thing. Mr. Metcalf. Um. So Miriam, where it says, I hear you a oh, second. Miriam, where it says 300 bowed on the lower right hand corner, do you want to change that to like 9600? Ah. There we go. All right. Uh, Asaf, what's your question? Um, if when it's centered, it's at like 519 and 534, does that mean that like I didn't put it in center? Um. That might just be, my guess would be that that's just a, um, that that's just an error with the, uh, like with the joystick itself. Um, so it should go, the joystick should go from zero to 1023. Um, and the reason it's 1023 and not just 1000 has to do with that it's all in binary. Um, oh, that's uh, the same for the potentiometer, like just a normal one. Exactly. So I would guess that that's just uh, that that's just an artifact of the joystick itself and the fact that it was like a one dollar joystick. Uh, Aviav, did I see you have a question? Uh, I just wondering what's the correct way to hold it. Like, it should up be zero, or um, depend on how you, you hook it up. Hold it where the, yeah, the honestly, I think you can you can kind of orient it however you like. Bo, what's your question? Uh, it's just giving me the same annoying error. It's as if it can't find the board, but the, it is connected because the board's lighting up. Okay, did you go to tools and then port? Yeah, that fixed it for me. What tools, what port? I'm really confused. At the top. Okay, go, go to the Arduino ID. Up at the top, there's a tools menu. I don't see that anywhere. Are you in the are you oh, in the tools, Arduino? I found it. Yeah. Port. And then you want to select oh, the Oh, yeah, because it's connecting to my headphones. <laughs> That's really weird. Mine does that my too. AirPods are work. And... Mr. Metcalf, I think class is over. Class is yes. over, yeah.